Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about signals, more specifically creating custom signals for your, you know, systems. So, if we open up a script just really quick, um, I'm sure like you all know about, you know, just signals in general, um, Roblox script signals, right? If we do like workspace dot, um, you'll see here, right? There's like these, I've talked about these in a previous video, you know, the things with the little pink lightning bolt, you know, they're called Roblox script signals. They're basically, you know, events or whatever. They're like, they're, they're, they're things that are called to inform to just like inform you of something happening so like when a child is added to the workspace when a descendant is added you know you just connect function right and then do whatever with that child right um it's just like alerting you that a child was added to the workspace and there's signals for like all sorts of things on all um instances on roblox however what if you wanted your own signal right what if you wanted to make your own in your own system that's what we're going to be talking about today so first off, right, we are going to be using a custom signal, um, you know, like an open source system. Um, this one's made by Slate Nick. He's a really good programmer. Um, he's made a lot of different like libraries and, you know, modules for the community and stuff. But we're going to be using his um, system called literally, <laughs> just literally called signal. Um, and if we go here, uh, this is like just his little Roblox utility um, repository, right? He has a bunch of like utility modules, but we're going to be focusing on signal, obviously. So we're going to go to modules and then under that find signal. And then from there, uh, init dot Luau, right? And then we're going to just copy this. You can just, co uh, press this little button in the top, right? Go back to studio, make a module script under replicated storage, and then just replace everything, right? And then now we have signal and now we can use this to create our own signals. Um, so we're going to make a, another module script and we're going to use this. Um, and, and just, you know, as if this was a system that we made and we, we want to add a signal to it, you know, that's what we're going to be doing. So first we need to get the signal module, obviously. So, you know, replicate a storage and then, you know, require signal from there. So, you know, uh, require replicated storage dot signal, whatever. And then we want to set up the signal. So under the table, right, we're just going to do like, you know, did something, <laughs> you know, signal dot new, right? And this is all you have to do to set it up. Did something equals signal not new, right? And you can set up another one, you know, did something else signal dot new. So now we got two signals now for making them actually like occur, right? We're going to basically set up a function, just module do something, and then we'll set up, you know, the other module do something else. And then within this, you know, you might have whatever code, you know, you might print something, you know, did something. <laughs> this is so like, I don't know, did something else, right? And then you just fire those signals as if it's like a, like imagine like a, a remote, right? Like a remote event, a bindable event, right? It, it's similar to that, right? So here you would just do self, you know, the module, which is self in this case, dot did something fire. And then the same thing here with self dot did something else fire, right? And now anytime these functions are called, the signal will be fired from them, right? And then in another script, you know, if we just make a regular script, we can, you know, require that module script. And then down here, we can get that signal, right? So module script dot did something, um, connect function, you know, and then print did something was fired. The AI literally auto filled it for me. Um, and then of course with, you know, the other one did something else, connect function, print did something else, um, was fired. Sure. Right. Um, and, and that's, it, it's just like, you know, normal signals on like any instance, right? It's, it, it acts the same exact way. You can even use, you know, module script dot did something once, right? Um, it's the same as like regular objects. There's a few things you can do with this, but, but yeah, I mean, you can read up all the documentation if you want, but yeah. Um, and now, you know, if we just, 
uh, you know, just, just have a little loop here, like, well, you know, wait five seconds, do module script, uh, do something, and then, you know, maybe, like, wait three seconds, module script, do something else, right? And now if we test this, you'll see, you know, after five seconds, we should get a couple prints. There it is. Did something did something was fired, did something else, did something else was fired, and then wait another five seconds, you'll see again, right? And you can see, you know, did something, that's coming from the module, and then this gets fired, and then did something gets fired, right? And then it prints out, did something was fired, right? Pretty cool. Um, honestly, that's like basically all there is to it right now. Um, again, like, you know, for, for like, uh, I will say, like, for server-to-client communication, you still have to use, like, remote events, right? This is just for communication across the same network. So, you can't set up a signal, right? Or, or, or if you, like, since this is a server script, right? I'm calling this from the server only server scripts. In fact, if we set up another script over here, you'll see, um, if I just set this up, in a different script, it'll it'll still work, right? Um, wait, not signal. I needed module script, right? It'll still work. We'll we'll test again while I talk about this. But um, it'll work across the same network perfectly fine. But you can't do it from server to client or client to server. That's still off limits. You would still need to use like you know remote events for that. Um, but this is really really useful, I think. Um, just using signals. To alert of you know whatever you want to alert uh but yeah that's basically it for today um uh i will say as well uh almost forgot to mention thank you guys for like the recent support i gained like a hundred subscribers in like three or four days which is kind of crazy i know like comparatively that's not a lot you know like there's youtubers out there with tens of thousands millions whatever but, you know, for me, I'm, I'm not even at, like, 500 subs at the time of recording this yet. Um, hopefully soon. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, gaining, like, 100 subscribers in, like, three days is, is crazy to me. So, yeah, I, thank you guys. And I'll keep recording these videos as long as you guys keep watching them. Uh, I enjoy it, so I enjoy teaching people. Anyway, I'm, I'm yapping. I'm sorry. But, yeah, um, that's all for today, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.